Menlo Pool. And there is signs not to view the wildlife. RJ, put that down. Can't take him anywhere. Hey everyone, welcome to Percocy, Pennsylvania. Coming to you from a beautiful snow covered park here. As you saw walking by is RJ78 Productions. He wanted to show me a couple things here. This is gonna be a shorter video, but we got a couple bridges to share. We got an open, kind of almost like a suspension bridge called the Twin Bridges, and also a covered bridge, which was re relocated here. If I'm able to share any information, I will throughout the video. Otherwise, we're just gonna take in the beautiful sights and landscape here because they actually just received a fresh snowfall just a day or two ago and it looks quite gorgeous. It's cold out too, it's around 18 degrees, so I'm not gonna spend too much time, but I figured it was worthy of sharing with all of you. So I invite you to come along with me and we'll uh, check it out together. Also here at the park, there is, you can see the backstop area for a little baseball field. There's also a skate park here and I believe some trails as well. There are numerous park benches around and there is a stream we'll be crossing over just up here so may have to come back in the spring or summertime to see how it looks when it's not covered in a blanket of snow but we're going to be crossing over these bridges and i'll take you along with me so looking ahead there are indeed two bridges here they do cross over the stream and we did confirm these were built in 1937 by the wpa Works, Works Progress, Progress Administration. Administration. So these are not too shy for a hundred years old. And it looks like they've been meticulously maintained. So uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's cross over. There is a wooden floor to it. And you can see the heavy duty braided cable. And we are on top of a frozen stream. Looks like it's almost solid enough to walk on. Here's a look at some of the details on it too. After coming across, we are on land again, which is kind of divided the creek up. You can see the big concrete anchors here. And just for size comparison, size of these eye hooks or eye bolts, whatever you want to call them, you know, pretty massive, heavy duty to keep the tension on this and keep it structurally intact. And like I said, we are on land now and we're going to be coming up to the second bridge here. So RJ did tell us, and the gentleman who was walking by as well, did state that up on top of the hill, there is a carousel. Now it is sealed up for the winter time, so we can't actually see it, but it is up there. But the unique thing that RJ told me is that back in his uh, younger days, he belonged to, um, I think it was Votech, and they kind of refurbished that carousel, and he was responsible for clear coating the, ho the horses. I believe he said there was two of them he did, and out of the two, uh, all of them they had zero runs, which means he did a near perfect job on them. So he actually has some, you know, connection to that carousel. So he may have to come back in the summertime when it's operating and take a look at them, and maybe he could share some more information at that time. But pretty cool though that he, you know, was responsible for the rehab of that, and it is up there on top of the hill. And uh, if it's operating, 
I'm sure we could uh, maybe take a ride on it. Do they cool. use it? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's operational? Yep. So. Okay, so you may see this place again in the future. Also behind me too on the corner of the bridge is a little miniature snowman. And as we're making our way to the other side, here is a bigger brother or sister of the snowman. So someone's here having some fun. He's got he's got some nature's hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's happy. He's got a nice little spot here. Little yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's even a bigger one. There's <laughs> that must be the parents over there. <laughs> so yeah, it seems like there is um some history here. The gentleman also stated too that somewhere up here was a barn that burned down roughly twenty years ago. Up there? Okay. So we'll show you that. It's just the foundation of it now, but there was a barn that burned down. But there's little like pavilion type areas. There's numerous benches, picnic tables, trails. So I believe this trail goes all the way out. Sellersville, which really isn't that far from here, but this stream follows right out to um, Old Bethlehem Pike, and this comes right out to that, right by the Sellersville Fire Company. Okay, so yeah, those of you who uh, are familiar with the area probably know what he's talking about, and if you're not, you can always look on Google Maps and follow what he said, but yeah, the stream and the path do kind of follow along each other. Do you know if they have like fishing here or stuff? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. there's fishing here, there's people fish here in the summertime. Uh, uh, yeah, I think they stock this. Too. Approved, waters. improved waters, yeah. That's like a one-armed snowman with an 80s hairdo. <laughs> oh yeah, he does have a face on him. It's kind of looks like sloth. Yeah, yeah, it's like. Mm -hmm. Hey, you guys. <laughs> 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 So we found the snowman version of Sloth with 80s hairdo. Now RJ's gonna go spruce him up. He is looking spiffy. <laughs> Too many wawas. So something I just noted, nothing really of significance here, but you do have a drinking fountain here. Just out of uh, concrete, nothing special. Hmm. Creek water. And down here we do have um, an older version, which looks quite dated. So just to show you kind of a more modern fountain, when we get down there, I'll give you a look at that one. So here we are at the older one. This one looks pretty interesting. It's like, uh, it looks like, oh yeah, there's actually a, like a pedal here. So you used to be able to press on it to dispense the water. And it's kind of been updated here with a spout here with the button. But yeah, this is, if you guys could maybe help educate me as to approximately how old this is. But to have a, a button here, a pedal, that is pretty cool. So it's a older version with a, more modern updated touch to it but it's on a concrete pedestal here but yeah i actually think that's pretty cool how they're able to save it and to still be able to use it today in the foreground here you can actually see roughly how much snow they have down here they did receive several inches just a day or two ago as i mentioned it's almost up to the seat of the bench behind it there is a platform and as the gentleman who was stating it used to be a barn I'm not sure what they used it for, but he said roughly 20 years ago when he moved here, it burned down. Surprised they still have the foundation or, you know, the bottom base of it. Haven't done anything else or rebuilt it, but a barn did sit there at one point. So where we're headed now, we are next to another baseball field. In the distance, you can see the American flag and some trees. In the distance is a red covered bridge. Now that's not the original location. It was moved there. It used to be over some water, and RJ did state there is an information plaque which will help us get some more information, but seems like a pretty decent park. There's a lot to do and see here. There's multiple, you know, ball fields, there's trails, there's picnic areas, 
and also some history as well. And I've seen it pretty well packed in the summertime. I believe it. There's actually an information board up here. I'll give you guys a peek at that, see if there's anything worth noting. All right, so here's a, a big placard here with some information showing you the overview of the park. You can see roughly a, a sketch of where we are, which is up here, and you know how far it is, how far it goes. There's everything from an ice rink, trolley station, skate park, library, volleyball court, war memorial, carousel, Menlo pool, and there is signs not to fear the wildlife. RJ, put that down. Can't take him anywhere. Twin bridges, which we crossed originally. That was the beginning of the video. And over here are some photos, which will give us uh, some better representation of what we're seeing here. The covered bridge shows a uh, horse and buggy crossing it back in 1832. It says the bridge was moved to its current location in 1958. So it's been here, you know, roughly 70 years or so. You can see Menlo Park, Percocy. If you guys want to read anything else here or see the photos in more detail, feel free to pause it. Perkiman Creek. That's it. So yeah, yeah so that's what a tributary of the yeah, RJ was looking it up. Oh, it looks like almost a roller coaster here. What is that? Yeah. Toboggan Mountain Chute. That was probably up in this area. Wow. That looks pretty neat. Yeah, it looks like almost like a roller coaster. And even a casino. It was added to Menlo Park, 225 feet long, had 20,000 feet of floor space. Contained a roller skating rink, movie theater, four bowling alleys, and a refreshment stand. And Twin Bridges, yeah, completed in 1938 by WPA. So they started 1937, completed 1938. Yeah, I love when parks have stuff like this to kind of give you, you know, to fill you in on what used to take place here in the history. There's even some boating here. You see the people wearing the derby hats and the canoes and the women in the dresses. So... Definitely simpler times. But now that we know the bridge has been here since 1958, we're gonna head over there and take a walk through it. Just notice too in the bottom, there is a website, percocyhistory.org. I will put it on the screen. So if you wanna get more information for yourself, feel free to do a little Google search. But we do have to walk through the snow to make it to the bridge, so. All right, we got a bit of distance to cover, probably about 50 yards. So just so I don't lose my footing or drop you guys, I'm going to pick back up when we get closer to the bridge. Definitely wasn't the best decision to make my own path through the snow, but we are here. <laughs> Those are my footprints. RJ did, take the, RJ did take the drier, safer way. But here we are at this pretty amazing covered bridge. 1832. Looks like they even have Christmas lights going around it. And it looks like it's going to be definitely worthy of some photos as well. But it's been here since 1958. And it's bigger than it looks. As always, I'm gonna put you guys down. I'm gonna walk in first, check it out, and give you guys a really good size comparison. So here we are, we're gonna go through it. You can see it is outlined with Christmas lights. And I was just thinking for locals, this is probably a, you know, a really well-known landmark. If they're gonna give directions or describe something, I'm sure this bridge has been referenced countless times, but 
as mentioned, it's not original to this location, but it has been here over half a century. They do have a black top kind of pad leading up to it, like a ramp. And then you can see the wooden base. And I know it's probably not going to pick up too good on camera, but there are sections that are kind of sinking down and looking straight. It's actually kind of tilted. It's leaning to the right. So although I'm sure it's perfectly safe to walk through, it's definitely past its prime and has seen better days. They even have, looks like, sensor lights. And trying to show on camera here, like I said, you may or may not be able to tell the degree that it's dropping. It's kind of sloped, hits a low point, and then kind of levels back out. I'm not sure if it ever saw a vehicle use, but as we saw in the pictures, it definitely did have horse and carriages. There's looking back, nice shot there. And there's where RJ is. There's some type of plate there, something about, it's hard to read. Something that says Pennsylvania has 1959 and a covered bridge picture on it. Howdy, stranger. What's up? Hey, you got a camera just like me. Hey, I wonder where I got it from. That's a good question. I want to get one just like that. Oh, wait, I do. <laughs> okay, so we're now at the far end of the tunnel. Me and RJ did switch places. And as he mentioned, there is a kind of a little memorial here, <clears throat> excuse me, which is going to help answer some of the questions I did have. So I'm going to go over briefly, just show you the pictures, but this is a moving of South Perkasy Card Bridge. Re relocation of the 1832 span from South Main Street to Lenape Park, if I pronounce that correctly, took one week in mid-August, 1958, and cost over $10,000. Uh, I could imagine it would be how many times that amount today if it happened. Raised in the community by the Perkasy Historical Society, which saved the bridge from demolition. The bridge was rededicated in 2008 on the 50th anniversary of the move. So showing its original location here, bridge on Main Street, and it is indeed going over water. And okay, so my question was, did it ever see vehicle traffic? Yes, indeed. Last car over bridge, police chief Jim Schatz, Andy Schuler, Claude Bowen. So originally saw horses covering it, probably people as well, and then definitely vehicles. Giant cranes lift the bridge, so we got two large boom cranes on both ends to literally lift it off its foundation. Turning onto Wall Street, that's when it's being moved. We do have a uh, riggers brace the span. There's a picture of the crane. Gross weight, five tons. So it was able to withstand five tons or probably two vehicles at max. Bracing under the bridge. These are pretty interesting to see. So I guess they are in order. So they're lifting it, transporting onto Walnut Street. Crowd watches the bridge moving. You can see it's almost like a parade of people here watching a a house-sized structure coming down the road. Not something you would typically see. Turning toward Perkasy at Moyer's store. You can see some of the classic vehicles there. New paper photo of bridge over bridge. So it's the covered bridge over a span bridge. Youngsters observing historic move. That's something they'll never forget. Making a turn on Lenape Park. Got a, looks like a Mac truck pulling it definitely a skilled driver a lot of communication there's even like a forklift here somebody riding along making sure everything's going to clear entering the park august 21st 1958 placed into position at lenape park and you actually have a crane multiple forklifts and i guess that is the current location mixing mortar from new stonework thelma Beringer, peg bowen marion Baum. Historical Volunteers. 
And look, they're wearing dresses, mixing concrete, not something you would see today. Dedication Day, 1959, Peg Bowen, Andy Schuler, with the uh, old vehicles there. And then sign remains on 1832 entrance, which we did see out there. Historical Society banner on cross beams. Society replicates move 50 years later with a little miniature size covered bridge. That's pretty neat. And officials rededicate bridge after parade in 2008. So that is the full history, basically from where it was originally located and constructed to its history and its removal, new location, rededication, all covered here. So hopefully you guys appreciate that information. It definitely made me appreciate, you know, why this is here and all the effort that took place. The only thing I don't know offhand is the length of the bridge. It doesn't have that stated. All we know is that it did have a five ton weight limit, but if I was to guesstimate, I'm usually fairly accurate. I would say probably about 60 feet in length, give or take, maybe five feet. Do you think that would be correct? Different lengths, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, RJ's thing 60, 70, so right around there. <laughs> Actually has a, a plaque there, it says number 236. Probably like a county or county yeah. bridge number. Bridge number, you think? Yeah. Okay. And it, this bridge here, where it's crossing, was the original bridge that was here. This was recently redone within the last couple of years. Oh, so that bridge was right here? That's right here. Okay, so RJ just pointed out, I would have known without his knowledge, so this bridge here was i should say is here but it's a different bridge now yeah, this is a new replacement. so it's a newer replacement of that bridge but it's the same location so that covered bridge crossed this bridge to get located here so it's pretty neat you can see the transformation of the uh you know the roadways and the architecture but still same location altogether I was just going to go over and ask them if they wanted to be on video and give them a high five, but they want no part of it. But that is going to wrap up today's video, guys. I do want to first thank RJ for taking me here. Without him telling me about it, taking me here, I wouldn't have known about this place. And it's certainly a place I want to return to in the spring or summer months, especially when the carousel is up and operational. Getting the history on the bridge, though, for me was pretty amazing because a lot of times we come across structures items or even locations and we can only speculate the history not only the history but the the past you know the, the facts about it so having places like this that have information boards definitely makes it worthy for someone like me who wouldn't have known any better without doing some online research but i do hope to see more parks or areas around not only in pennsylvania but anywhere that has you know historical items like that bridge to have information boards to make it more easier and more relatable as to what we're looking at but i want to hear from you guys feel free to comment down below tell me what did you enjoy did you enjoy those twin bridges in the beginning from 1937 38 or the covered bridge they're both beautiful and you know intriguing in their own way it's hard for me to decide i'm just glad i was able to share both of them with you but with that said i want to thank you for watching today's video and for joining me on this little snowy covered park adventure. I had a great time. Hopefully you did as well. As always guys, take care and I'll see you in the next video. It's worse up there I hear. <laughs> yeah. A friend of mine said they got four foot. She's up there. Yeah by the Poconos they got hit pretty hard and stuff. Yeah this is just another seven inches yesterday. But yeah. There's another trail. We're taking a dirt trail yesterday. I fell twice on that thing on black ice. Oh jeez. Then see it boom. Then I went back on the trail. I had no problem at all because it's dirt. Yeah. Nobody's back there. I thought, oh, nothing going on. It fell once. I said, I'm going to keep my eyes out. Two minutes later, I fell up there. Jeez. Like, damn, it's falling too hard for my age. I hear you. <laughs> Cross in a second. Test the security camera first.